Something that's gonna last a couple hours just to waste my life. What do you mean it's gonna last a couple of hours? It don't last just a couple of hours. Church does, but God does it. God lasts forever. Okay, but it doesn't make sense. We're sitting in a building with four walls, just like this, just talking about a thing, an inanimate object. We're talking about more than just a thing. Just a thing. Can you see God? You can't see Him. Exactly. How do you know He's there? Because I give the Holy Spirit. Why? If, <laughs> okay. The Holy Spirit, I'm going to use your word. Okay. It's like the wind. You can't see it, but you can feel it. Yeah, I guess. So, I have to do with God. Have you ever had a touch on your heart before? That kind of hurt, wouldn't it? <laughs> Not that kind of touch. But... <laughs> Not that kind of touch. But what, like, a touch, just a touch, like you know, wow. a token on your heart. Like, your heart's going to. Not what I would expect. <laughs> um, I guess you could say that possibly. Who is it from? Nothing. It's from God. It's happened. It's from God. How do you know that? How do you because know it's just not I a feeling? I get it all the time. And if it wasn't for God giving that to you, I, I get it myself. I get it every day. Okay, but how do you know it's God? How do you know because it's not I just... Because I can feel Him revealing stuff to me. And when I pray, He reveals all this stuff to me. I can, I just know it's Him because I can just not physically see Him, but just know He's there. But how? it could just be your conscience saying like you shouldn't do that or something like that. How do you know? Because I wouldn't be the, acting the way I'm acting, and I wouldn't be telling other people about Jesus if it wasn't for, for God. But how do you know, though? How do you like? How My do you know? Bible is the proof. Okay. Have you have you ever read the Bible? Yes. What do you read in the Bible? Lots of stuff. Like what? Psalms, John, Matthew, all that. What'd you get out of it? Nothing. Nothing really. Just a bunch of words. Mm -mm, it's not a bunch of words. It's it what, is though. It's, it's what Jesus said and what Jesus did. Well, how do you know true. he said that? Because if if it's in red, it's what Jesus said, and he was saying it to the people. But what is just okay? I can write something in red on the board. Does that mean it's from Jesus? No, but it's what God said. It's in the Bible. That's why it says Holy Bible. What, what is Bible? And Jesus, it says Jesus said. Right, but how do you know Jesus said it though? Like, I'm gonna stop this. You see how things aren't working out? You see how like nothing's getting anywhere? Okay, I'm gonna try to convert this chair. Okay? The stool. Still get right. <laughs> the stool. Hey, you need Jesus. I know you don't understand what any of this means, and I'm just talking to you. You aren't gonna listen to me. I'm not gonna listen to you. But you gotta get saved. And you don't know what that means. You don't know what any of this means because you don't believe. But you gotta get saved. Does that make sense? No, yes That's, and no. Why? Because you're talking to an inanimate object, something that... How is it ever... different than talking to an atheist or somebody who believes something any different? They'll talk back. But it's, it's, the concept is the exact same. Somebody who's an atheist or somebody who believes in another religion, 
they've got their mind set on Amen. that. That's like a, that's like us trying to. That's like somebody coming up to us saying, "God's not real." Are we going to believe a word they say? No, no, we're not. Why? Because we have our mindset. We've been pretty much raised. Why do we know that God's real? Like she said, faith. Something more than faith. I like. Um, we talked about it Wednesday. How do we know God is real? Anybody? In your own lives, anybody's life. How I don't know what you're do you about, know but... God is real? Because if you don't know God's real, then it's coming in here it's for nothing. Is God even real? God is real. How do you know? Because He just is. How? Because He works in like our lives every single day. He, he changes stuff for us. How do you know? Because I swear, if it wasn't for God, I'd still be doing the terrible things that I did before January the 10th. But what is it that made you change? God. How can you? How do you know? That God is there. Because you can feel him. You can feel him. I like the, like when the feeling of you getting saved, you know something's changed. Like it's, like, it's that feeling. Yeah. It's this feeling when the Holy Spirit comes down. And we say that we can't see God, but just like the wind, you can't see it, but you can feel it. You can you can see it because you can see it blow and how it affects other things. And God's the same in our lives. You can see how it affects our lives. Mm -hmm. I like that. So you can see God. The way that you can prove that God's existence is real is how he's affected your own life. If you can go back to that certain point in time where you can think, where you have no doubt in your mind whatsoever where God came in and touched your life, that's how you can prove that God's real. But let me ask you in the same sense, how can I convince that stool that God is real if they've never had that feeling? How? I want to say you know them first. You gotta let them experience for themselves. You can't tell them to experience. I can tell that stool all day long everything they need to know about Jesus. Yeah. But if they don't feel it for themselves, what's gonna what's the use of it? Can I can I go and can can I get you saved today? Can I get you saved? You can't. Okay. I can't. God can't. So what can we do? I'd say, what can we do to get somebody saved? God. <laughs> God. I want to get close to him. I mean, you know, God kind of gave us, he gave us all a free will. You just, you tell them and they, it's their choice whether they accept it or not. There was, um, we can't do a thing to get that stool saved. We can't do a thing. The only way that that stool is ever going to get saved is if we're living the way we need to be, we're an example for them. We're praying for them. If we're giving them opportunities for the Spirit to come and touch their lives. Because if that stool just sits there all day, every day, doing the same old thing, nothing's going to happen to it. But if you give it opportunities, show it what it needs, you let this be an example of how God has changed you, and then you just got to wait for God to move. Because then you aren't going to be able to do a thing by yourself. I've heard this a lot of times. Like, don't just hang out with like this group, just Christians. Hang out with people that like don't know God and stuff. Like, because you're probably gonna be the only Jesus they ever see in their lives. So let your um, enthusiasm and your Jeep, like godly stature rub off on them, and maybe they'll start to realize that they're doing the wrong thing. Build on the scripture because we may be the only Bible that they have. Just think about that today. Think about that stool you may know. Never gonna know a thing about God, except for the life that you're living. How's that going to show up to them? How's that going to help them to get to know God? Live the life they need to live so that that stool can get saved. That's all. Tom, go. No, I see what you mean. I'm sorry. Be careful. Yeah, I can hurt my head. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Oh.